All right, guys, we're here. Episode Yo. 106 of the Sub Podcast in a very different format than we usually do. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. We are knee deep in Corona. Lawrence is gone. There he is. He's back. Um, mm-hmm. Luke uh, he keeps changing his backgrounds to different Asian women. <laughs> yeah, what's good? <laughs> uh, so, what's up guys let's let's go through this fucking quarantine shit real quick what have you guys been doing luke clearly has been really just fucking perusing the internet for asian women fucking huh? having a good time honestly having I've a been, great time i've been playing a lot of uh nba 2k20 mm. right for playstation 4 i just bought that and uh and that's pretty much it playing a lot of Ooh. smash brothers Nice. A lot nice. of Mario Maker 2. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh Just really. You could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well, here uh, we are, man. I mean, I'm just happy that we get to still do this. Um, and yeah. And if there's anywhere you guys want to start in particular, I'm open. We were talking about that Quibi shit just a second ago, if you want to kind of bounce off that. Well, we don't have. To, I mean, we could start somewhere else. I mean, you know, it's you know, Air Max Day just came and went. That's right. And, and Lawrence's uh, birthday. Happy and birthday, it was, Lawrence. Yeah, happy birthday, Lawrence. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's very <laughs> surreal because it's it, it's always been every year for the last you know five or five basically five years. It's my birthday on the twenty fifth, and then Air Max Day is the following day. Mm-hmm. And you know, I remember the first Air Max Day getting the uh the air max ones uh with the lime green midsole and right the, uh, and the you know and i and i remember and, and i remember going crazy for those and i had to you know and, and then it what it's become you know in the in the last few years and, and now for it to be an air max day and, and it was online and there was you know it, it, it just felt so surreal because air max day is usually people are out you know posting yeah. pictures of their sneakers online or people are trying to get some type of release in stores and for it to be Air Max Day being celebrated with everyone being under quarantine. Very surreal. Puts things in perspective. That is bigger than sneakers. Yeah, yeah stuff, it know? really does. Uh, mm-hmm. Did anybody, did you guys get the duck camos? No, I, I didn't go for anything. Try. I, 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 well, I looked, I literally, uh, I, I, it was 9.45 in the morning, and I was like, all right, Lawrence, um, 10 o'clock. And then, no lie, I, uh, I was started working from home, and the next thing you know, it was like 10.25, and I was like, fuck, I missed the drop. So, Ooh. damn. Um, it's, it's whatever. I mean, I wasn't really a big fan of those. Like, they were cool, but I have, like, having the, the OGs to me, and then it just feels like these aren't, aren't anywhere near – the first duck camel 90s so i wasn't yeah. excited i feel that i feel that i went I, I minimal effort on my part i went to sneakers uh couldn't really hop on in the first five seconds and i was mm-hmm. like eh, i don't need these you know mm-hmm. during this time because mm-hmm. i've been so slow with work I, i'm not even trying to spend money on nothing dude like i gotta just food and basically that's it yeah, mm-hmm. everything else I, I gotta that. chill because the work is slow. <laughs> it's so oh, slow. buddy. Yeah, yeah. But me I had and a to... bunch of other my Yo, we... friends are in the same position. You know what I mean? We're all kind of just trying to look out for each other, make sure we're, like we're good at even feel. Like um, a couple of my buddies were like, "Hey, I can give you here and there money. You know, if you do this for me, just like quick shit." So I'm getting by, but yeah, I'm, I'm not buying nothing. No new cops for me. No, that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. I am getting unemployment checks, so I'm chilling for now. Oh, you, you start you started getting it already. Mm-hmm. They they waived yeah. the the week long. Dude, period. they waived like the whole shit. You could just go on there and just be like, I have no money, and then they just throw it at you. They just throw you throw you money. It's pretty nice. Really? Yeah. Okay, but you're still so full time right now, Al. I'm still yes. I'm still lucky enough to be full time. <laughs> uh, I still have a job. I still go. On, I still work from home every day. Uh, and you know who knows what the future will bring. Because as the yeah. longer it goes, I'm sure, you know, less people will be employed, unfortunately. So all you can do is just continue to be thankful that yeah, you got right. it and you have money. And, uh, and yeah, I understand what you're saying, Chris. Uh, when you get that motherfucking uh, 
uh, check from the president for twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, with that. Yeah. yeah. What do you, mm-hmm. so. Actually, you know what? I was thinking about because the the sneaker market is so low now. A lot of the stuff that's mm. coming out now is under retail. Like um. Yeah. So Ye- I forget what Yeezys I was just looking at, but they they reach they're like ten dollars under retail. They came out like the other day. The cinders. Yeah, yeah the no, I forget which one, whatever one it was. But I mean, I was, just, I was just looking. I was yeah, oh, the eighties. Yeah, I wasn't really like paying attention. I was just trying to see oh. what the retail and what the uh, price you can get it at now. Goat's really good yeah. because Goat has the under retail section. So all that shit, all dude, all the shit that just came out, even those um those fours, the neon fours that's supposed to look like the Air Maxes. Those were like yeah. $10 under retail and they just came out. And those are short. Wild. Yeah. Those are trash though. Here's the those, thing. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, I mean, every, we, we've talked about this and it seems like every week now that passes, yeah, the sneaker market is going down obviously because of situations yeah. just like what you're saying, Chris, like people, they don't have a job. People are trying to, you know, they're trying to scrounge and, and get money however they can. So yeah, you, if you're a buyer, it's a perfect time to buy shit because people are- Definitely letting shit go for uh really cheap certain things you know weren't gonna aren't gonna do numbers pandemic or no pandemic and i think when you start seeing like jordans certain jordans are just i mean yeah most jordans are a retail or a little bit over retail cop and when you say ten dollars under it's like i'll wait for it to go thirty dollars under me because i'm so I, i'm as i'm home I'm, I'm just noticing that there are so many places that are selling sneakers for 25 percent of nike did a 25 percent off like so many companies are yeah, everybody letting things did. go because so so when you say something like a jordan air max it's like yeah those shits are supposed to be under retail because who the fuck is is spending money on to me bullshit sneakers like that and and when i say bullshit sneakers like i feel like those are things that you can get under under retail Mm-hmm. With the twenty five percent off code. Yeah, but it's eventually. just it was crazy to me to see it like come out and because usually there's a spike the day it comes out or like the day before. You know what yeah. I mean? Usually it's up and then it will go down gradually. This one just like looped and like stayed right. Low. Exactly. What happened with the? We had it on our Discord for about an hour before I checked the three eighties. Like I think uh, ZX Runner put them on the on the website. Oh yeah, Matt. Did. Somebody did. Uh, but they put it on there. And then they were like, uh, if anybody wants 380s, they're still on concepts. And I logged in an hour later and it was still there. So yeah. people like drops aren't doing even three, like 380s you expect to at least sell out in the first hour, you know? Uh, I would, I mean, just, I'm surprised that anything is uh, just not being in the, not reselling high. But yeah, Lawrence Usually is right. It totally makes sense. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. It makes total sense when you start really thinking about it, when you're going to see, like I said, you even, uh, some, some like the off-white fives, they were, I mean, those things were doing decently on the market. And now mm-hmm. those shits are, those shits are tanking, not tanking, obviously, because if you spend $200 for a sneaker and you're able to sell it for $600, you're still making, you know, three to 400. But yeah. what I'm saying is like, things are, things that, especially this time of the year, this time of the year is tax return season this is when people usually are spending money with reckless abandon they don't give oh, a yeah. fuck what you buy did you guys do your taxes already oh, so, yeah how long this should... no no april well, 15th you got is the like, deadline you got july yeah, you got to like... now wow yeah wow i mean what you going to you going to tour for a little while luke and you forget everything you don't see shit you, don't <laughs> <laughs> you got until july, july oh, okay 15th now Oh, you're just salty because you didn't get to go on tour. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, that, is, that is correct because if I was on tour and I had and I was getting paid for all shows, yeah, I would have fucking I would have been a fucking buyer in this market. But instead, I got to be smart with my money. Oh so, god. Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. You, I would have shut the fuck up if you went on tour. It would have been commas on commas compared to what I got. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I would have been I would have been happy. But the the point is, guys, this is unprecedented. I mean, the last time. I think sneakers, I mean, obviously the last time we saw where everyone, a lot of people were suffering in the market and all this other shit obviously was 2008 and sneaker reselling and buying wasn't anything near what it was back then. Absolutely. Right. So this, to see where, where people decide they want to spend their money and if they, you know, how they're going to spend their money. uh, This is all, this is fucking up resellers, you know, resellers who 
we're getting things through back doors of the stores, you know, and, and physical stores, you know, they're hurting. So this is going to fuck everyone for a while. I just heard, I hear that New York, we're going to be shut down for at least another month. Yeah. So it just got, yeah, uh, extended to April 30th, the quarantine, whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, that is uh, going to really, it's going to show uh, people are more people are going to lose their jobs. So people who are spending money, uh, obviously there's some people, you know, still have a steady income. So they are like, Hey, now I might as well take advantage of shit. And, um, but most people are not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, speaking of taking advantage, um, this I think is a good segue point to go into the Quibi thing where, um, Lena Waith, is that how you pronounce your name? Lena Waith, right? I believe so. Well, yeah. First, so, let's way to, to, first, let's explain to the to the listeners. Uh, Quibi is supposed to, is a, it's a new app that is coming out uh, that is supposed to uh, come on. I, I believe April six or something like that. My and birthday. It's, uh, yes, and it's uh, <laughs> it's and Quibi is uh, it's Quick Bites, the streaming service. They do uh, episodes of shows that are like ten minutes a piece, so that way it. It's for people with basically short attention spans. Yeah, the um, way they marketed it, which was very smart, is um, they were using Quibi as an interval of time for people usually waiting. Like, I don't know how many uh, commercials you guys saw, but I saw the Chance the Rapper one where he was, like, waiting at a yep. Chinese restaurant for a table. That is and the big one. The, it wasn't yeah, the guy a Chinese was like, restaurant, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, how long do I got to wait? He's like, a Quibi. So it's like, yeah, it's, t- yeah, it's supposed to be, like, 8 to 10 or something. It's just a quick video, whatever. But it's supposed to be, like, a new form yes. of consumption where it's in between the youtube shit and um oh shit yeah you can oh, yeah. screen share on here yeah zoom is pretty tight dude uh yeah so, yeah lena's getting um it, she claims it's not a sneaker show that it's a sneaker culture show which i don't know what that really means um, I mean, I kind of know what it means, but it's, I, I mean, I think there's kind of split hairs. There's Sam Naj who had that Supreme uh, episode on his show, that which is on Netflix. Right. Um, yeah, basically, he said, like, they're trying to say that, like, the grocery guy and Jay-Z all are wearing Jordan 3s, and it's like, it's a movement, and it's a, what, I, I don't know what you exactly It's like, it's way it's different. Going, but. The level, the, the niceness of uh, Jay-Z's 3s. Uh, and the guy who's bagging your groceries is way different. The quality on yes, the two of yes. those, much like way different. But Lawrence, before we hit record, you were saying um, what you thought of the show. Well, I, you know, I haven't obviously I haven't seen it, but uh, you know, I, I do think it's some. It, obviously, it's a market uh, for people. You know, obviously, sneakers and streetwear is something that a lot of people are are privy to. And when you have someone like Lena Waithe and all these celebrities who are tapping into, you know, have shows, sometimes I feel like it's not as authentic as it could be because, hey, yeah. this is a person who is a millionaire mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, they have access to purchase all the shoes that they want. When you see celebrities and celebrities breaking out heat, you know, obviously the games change so much yeah. where, you know, 15 years ago, you you a lot of times you were in you had to be in the loop now it's 2019 2020 it's like you just got to have money and if you have yeah. money you can you can get anything because why because you could just fucking go on stock x and goat or flight club and say i'm just gonna buy all this shit and i'm once again i'm not saying anything's wrong with it but to me sometimes when i see someone like that do a, a show like that it, it does come off as unauthentic um and once again, I, who am I to judge? Because I haven't even seen the show. Maybe I have to see the show first. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like a lot of a lot of celebrities they want in on this like streetwear hype beast stuff. And um, and I don't know. I like I said. I, I think for someone who grew up in this culture, I don't think Lena Waithe was ever on a sneaker line. You know, what I mean, at two in the morning. And maybe I'm yes. wrong. Maybe I I'm that wrong too. But I don't think she was ever out there, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, talking about, you know, like being online, watching some dude get punched in the face so she could still cop a pair of fucking 11. You know, I don't know. I can't, I, but I just, it just feels like some of these things are, they, sometimes I feel like there needs to be someone who is still in the, 
in the streetwear realm or someone who's still like coming up that needs to be doing these type of shows as opposed to someone who's and once again I'm, I'm obviously they get a big name because the big name draws but right i i just kind of get a little a little irked with it especially like i said when i as someone who's in the stand-up and entertainment and i see comics who you know who now they get some money and the first thing they do is they try to like get like super exclusive sneakers because why all because the all of them because they can I mean? afford but it when you can afford it when you get in the money so now it's just like fuck it i'm gonna get all the shit and but it's like back in like people to me what's so funny is like i've worn i've been around people and i've worn a hundred dollar dunks and and the dunks is fucking hard but like someone else because they they rocking like a comic who stars getting shit and they start trying to buy super expensive everyone's like oh my god this is crazy yeah but it's just like they just like they don't even know half the time people who get the money don't even really know what it is they just yeah. with it because it's the hot thing it's really easy i mean uh, we've all checked people not really checked people but always been like oh those are nice like i don't know like turbo greens like come to my mind from like the past season where you'd be like, oh, those are nice turbo greens. And people will go like, what the f- What are you talking about? It's like, bro, mm-hmm. the shoes that you bought, those those are turbo yeah. greens. There's, you know? there's be- definitely been some comics that I've, I've seen with some newer sneakers on. And I'm like, oh, shit, those are the, you know, whatevers. And they're like, oh, is that what they're called? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, my guy, what are you doing? You know? Uh, Corey Ryan Forrester, who was a guest way back. We had him on a phone call back at uh-huh. Becky's studio. He was... He told me, because like, once he started going on tour, him, Drew, and Trey, they started all getting money. Um, yeah. He started buying sneakers, and his agent was like, dude, you're just like every other guy who gets on. Yeah. You're, just, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're a just hack, basically, for fucking buying shoes. Like, Yo, use your money I, elsewhere. Should I put my $1,200 to buying my baby bears? Should no. I buy my baby bears? <laughs> no. I don't know. They're right here. They're so attainable. Look at them. <laughs> They're right here, <laughs> right behind me. I can just get them. But no, Lawrence, I do generally agree with what you were saying about the show. Um, it feels like there's more and more content being generated around this type of space. And it always does seem like a random money grab when it's someone that you've never seen with, uh, like, who's known for their sneakers or their style. Yeah, it's, um, it's always... It's always this formula with like reality TV shows and whatnot, right? Where like a new platform will open. They need to get people on there quick. Let's get some names that are somewhat recognizable without killing our entire bank, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, and they'll get someone like Lena Waithe, who's like streetwear adjacent, I guess, because she was in that Master of None show and had pretty decent shoes there, you know? Yeah, she was like the fly one in that show, right? That was yeah. part of her character. Yeah, that was yeah. her whole thing. But that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not, and once again, I mean, I'm not saying that you get money and then all of a sudden now you, you're not, you shouldn't be able to buy whatever you want by a hype sneakers because sometimes people just don't have money. They have other obligations. But at the same time, like, I feel like there's this air of like, yeah, I got these shits and you don't, and like, like, okay, yeah. here's the, per- here's what I mean. This is exactly what I mean, right? Tell us, Lord, have- what do you mean? Thomas doesn't have money. Person, person doesn't have money, right? And then, then all of a sudden they get money. Now they start. Now they're buying these like super limited edition, whatever sneakers, clothes, whatever. Then the air of arrogance that comes along with them now, like, yeah, I got these shits. You ain't got these shits. That's a problem. <laughs> right. That's a hundred percent. That's that's always been my biggest issue with people because it's always like, yo, just stay true. Like, remain true to who you are. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I feel like there's there's that like there's that feeling of damn like this this motherfucker got these or like and and it's just it, it's stupid because it's all material shit anyway right yeah man it's true well i mean what, what more hopefully it's cool say? hopefully yeah. it's fun. hopefully it's a good show i mean i i'd much rather see it's gonna uh, stink i'd much rather see well-produced sneaker shit that's capitalizing on its popularity than just a bunch of horrible shit everywhere. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I just hope the show is good enough where it's like, oh, it's good representation. At least it's not making us look like more insane than we already are for spending this much money mm-hmm. on in collecting sneakers, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. I want to move on to our next topic, if that's right with you guys. <laughs> okay, Luke. <laughs> I want to talk about Virgil Abloh. Okay. I'm hey, on to you, Virgil. 
Virgil, I'm on to you. All right. So I don't know if you guys saw the news, but he's making airplanes for Drake now. Hmm. That's that's true. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's the same plane. He just redesigned it. Like he, he re- put a new skin on it. Oh yeah, new skin on it. Maybe some anti-COVID shit on the inside. I don't know, man. Is it, it? It's not quite like if you listen to the bonus. If you watched the bonus episode last week, I saw <laughs> that COVID is tr- connected to Drake, and Drake is connected to Virgil Abloh, and uh-huh. now he's just making planes for him. I don't know. It's a yeah. little sus. It's a little sus. I've got my eye. Look at this guy. This guy's a goddamn <laughs> mastermind right now. He didn't want to look stupid. He said, "Oh, streetwear is gonna die in 2020," and everybody's like, "You trash, Virgil. You're a fucking idiot." And now he's like, oh, I got to scramble and do something. I know, pandemic. Lawrence, what are your thoughts? Uh, I have no thoughts until we get a real topic. Go ahead. (laughs) Oh, you don't like the plane? You don't think it's a nice colorway on the plane, Lawrence? Hmm? Uh, Nope. All right. Uh, no, you, you, Luke, you, you say whatever makes your heart content in this pandemic, bro. Whatever whatever (laughs) makes you feel. (laughs) I'm on to him, man. He's got his the only, thing I'll, the only thing I'll say about the, the plane thing is um, out of all the unnecessary things uh, Virgil has done, this is probably the most unnecessary flex yeah. that you could do. Um, and what I'm assuming, I didn't even really read much about it. I saw the cloud shit. It's for Drake. I assume it's based off um, whatever fucking album that was where he had the clouds in the back. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, I mean, that makes sense to me. He just put Helvetica on a plane. Cool, dude. You're you're doing way better than all of us. You you're really creative there. You really spent a lot of time on that one, huh? Good for you. All right. I mean, that's it on that. <laughs> Fucking dude, you got to wrap a plane. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. I want my logo on a plane. Should we get a? Should we rent a plane and put logo? stuff on it everywhere? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what we'll do with our twelve hundred dollars. We'll pull yes. that. We'll combine. Buy a plane. <laughs> I mean, the plane industry is going down, right? I do. Yeah. You, we could probably buy low. Everything is going down, man. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, Luke, you got anything else on this? I don't want to defer you. No, it's fine, your, dude. Uh... I just all I'm saying is, if you haven't listened to the bonus ep- episode or watched the bonus episode, there's some secrets out there. Right on the Patreon there. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to talk about. I don't know if you guys saw these, but there's some Grateful Dead dunks that are coming out. Oh, you know how I feel about the Grateful Dead. <laughs> you like them? I don't like them. Oh, why? Oh, uh, I have a joke about them. It's not. Oh, really... that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like not even, dude. I miss stand up so much. Me too. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> dude. I mean, I don't. I, for whoever has known, I've since like last March. I've worked from my for from my house, like in this room that I'm in. So yeah, the days aren't bad, but it's not leaving at night and not interacting with those large quantities of people. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Uh, it's like the whole, this is the most amount of people I've talked to at once besides my roommates is you two now here. Bro, you got to get on Zoom more. I don't know what to tell I, you. I just downloaded it for this. I don't know what to tell you. But um, you get on, dude, soon. No, that's it, dude. I miss stand up so much, but yeah, I actually like these uh, dunks um, conceptually because those five bears are so iconic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Look at you, Lou, mm-hmm. coming in fucking hot. Um, yeah, buddy. Conceptually, these are great. I mean, they're not the best looking shoe, but those bears are iconic enough that this. Yeah, buddy. Story makes sense. This uh, this may be my shot at getting like a faux baby bear for a little bit but then this you have to get all, me over. I, think they're, I think they're doing three out of the five so you have to try to get all three there's ah uh, come on son all right well i'm only gonna get one pit and i didn't want all three of the the original three bears collection so if i'll just see whichever right. one's the best one and pick yeah. one of those uh what about you lawrence what do you think of those i actually like the i like the fozzy bear dunks yeah yeah, I think conceptually, that's why I wanted to talk about conceptually. It's just a great execution on a story. Um, and you guys know how I feel about my stories. Yeah, you love a good story. These shoes are my soap operas. 
Well, the way SBs are going in 2020, uh, you're not going to be able to get your hands on those. Uh, Unfortunately, so. yeah. Well, I wasn't able to get my hands on the original three bears either. So, fucking nothing new here, you know? <laughs> Did you guys Wait. see the other SBs? Do you want to talk about those? Yeah, the or? Ben and Jerry's you just pull, pulled up for a second. Yeah, throw those up. Because, God, those, those are ugly up. as shit. These are gross. That's, these stink. These are real tacky. I wouldn't be seen wearing these. These kind of make, I don't, I don't know, these might make better decorations, you know, than they would be shoes. They have a weird vibe to them, but I'm yeah. not, I'm, I'm not like turned off, turned off, but they're weird. They're, mm -hmm. they're fucking weird, man. Like if these I are saw one of these like, like pretty ugly things. Yeah. Like if I saw this in a Ben and Jerry's, like I saw that's in the corner, I would kind of get excited. I'd be like, that's kind of cool, you know? But like seeing them on somebody's feet, I'd be like, what are you doing, man? Not uh, these. I'm not going to say that yet. You're not going to say I'm that? You got to see on I'm feet? A, I got to see on feet, man. I don't know. What I will, what I will say, because um, we've kind of talked about it, I think the past couple episodes, is um, how Nike's been playing around with the swoosh more. Yeah. So if you notice, mm. to just keep the trend going, on the last oh, on. shoe that we just looked at, the, the Grateful Dead bear, it was like very spiky. They made it seem like it was supposed to be in that aesthetic. And in this, they have a nice drip. They're really doing a lot with the swoosh. They're trying to play around yeah. with that shit, which to me either seem, because there's no way that they didn't think about doing stuff with the swoosh for years. There, there's not that many shoes that exist with that much work done on the swoosh, right? Right. I mm -hmm. mean, there's only a handful, a couple here and there. Uh, but now Nike's really playing around with that molding like they're really trying to play around with what you could do with that squish yeah uh i want to i want to see one made of uh cement like literal cement i want the heaviest shoe on the planet it's gonna be a cement swoosh on your white cement threes i want an actual elephant's hide on God my feet damn i'm shitting gold these days <laughs> 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 oh all right luke where are we going now buddy just drive us home <laughs> i don't know chris sent me a picture this is more for like listen like we'll take a break from sneaker news for just a second okay. uh, chris sent us a picture of a girl that looks exactly like me and it fucking <laughs> ruined my life hilarious i uh, you didn't say anything to it l which concerned me honestly you just kind well, of ignored it. Saw it and he was like yeah it looks like luke yeah mm -hmm. Was, I saw it and I was like, damn, I didn't know Luke was cute. Bro, I I <laughs> took, like, that day, I was bored on Snapchat, and I, t I turned into, like, the girl filter. And, bro, it looks, it's uncanny. <laughs> it is uncanny. Pull up the picture. Uh, I can't. I don't have her on Instagram. I'm not following myself on Instagram. Can't, Do you have it? Are you, on, are you on a Mac? No, I'm not on a Mac. Oh, and let me see if I can find it real quick. And then, wow, what great Potter. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah, I found it. All right, how do I share my screen? Uh, there should be a button in the middle that says share screen. When oh, you, and uh, then I'll, I see, I see, I see, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you see what I see? Share. That's you right there. That's terrifying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to fuck me up. Bro, that is me. Bro, Sorry. look at the... Bro, what? <laughs> My guy. Terrifying. Yo! We're like oh. doxing this chick on the video right now. Oh, yeah. we fine, I guess. But, is her yeah, thing private? You, I don't know. I don't even know. How, that, she just popped up on my Instagram. I have no idea who this... I thought it was you, Luke, in a wig. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I follow her at all. It's just... Whatever. I can stop. Just questions. Yeah, let's, let's keep put that down. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't have a picture of me in the, in the, I'll take a picture for the next show or I'll put it in the discord. Okay. <laughs> uh, there you go. provide a little extra content for the boys listening, watching. We appreciate you. Lawrence, any thoughts on the, the lookalike Luke? Uh, very, very Luke like <laughs> <laughs> the Luke like, Oh, let's talk about. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into <episode> Luke alike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do, did you guys see these Tom Browns? <laughs> come on, come on, dude. I'm trying to yeah. trying to help. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, let's talk about these Tom Brown football shoes, bro. Yeah, show show everybody. I can't tell if these are cool or not. I might be a hypocrite because one of my favorite shoes is the A-Life Ballout, which is a tennis sneaker made out of tennis material. Yeah, but um, those, I like those a lot. I like those a lot, too. Even Airwalk back in the day, they did an all-tennis ball uh, tennis shoe. But so Tom Brown, once maybe, you know, Luke, you'll get there. Luke's got it. Uh, I have to. For our, He's got it coming. Easy, buddy. All right. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Tom Brown basically did a similar thing where they made – a uh, football shoe, and it looks like it's made out of football. It's like pigskin, and it's got the it's line. So it's college. It's a college football. And then, um, wait, Luke, go up and hit the fucking. Oh. Yeah, so you, they, we can see that? the tennis ball one, too. Mm. Look, It looks like the laces on an actual football. I mean, I, bro, I, I don't the know. Tennis balls. These are clean. I, I can't tell if I like them. I can't tell if this is a good or a bad idea. I mean, they're not for me. Like, I'm not going to – but these are clean, you know? I could see, like, a Cam Newton wearing these. Oh, I didn't even think about athletes wearing those football ones. Yeah, Lawrence, what do you 100%. think, buddy? Yeah, those are kind of – those are kind of different for – like you said, like, you got to – the Tom, Tom Brown makes some fire shit. Yeah. yeah, but that would definitely be. I could see a DeAndre Hopkins or Cam Newton rocking those shits. Yeah, shout out to DeAndre Hopkins, yo, who's now a member of the Arizona Cardinals. Oh shit! And Tom Brady's a fucking Buccaneer. He's a Buccaneer. Wild. Wild, wild, wild. Yeah, Bro, the tennis so like, ones. I don't know if I like the tennis slip-ons. To be honest, there's something about like the like the dimensions on them that are just a little off to me. I, I don't know about the tennis ones. If, the, if there's a winner here, it's definitely the football ones. I don't mm -hmm. know about these fucking tennis ones. No. Um, but so, like, Boston was on a delay from us of getting quarantines. And right. right around the time they got quarantines was when news of Tom Brady going to the Bucks. So anytime my family called me to, like, be like, we're on quarantine. Like, you, what's it like? What do you do? And Immediately, they'd just ask, like, and I'd be like, you just got to stay inside. And then he was complaining to me for 45 minutes about Tom Brady. Oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds Dude, great. I don't want to talk to anybody from home because all they talk about is Tom Brady. Other than, like, the kids I grew up with, but any of my family, they're like, so Tom Brady, what are, what are we going to do? I'm Tom, Tom Brady. ESPN, too. You can't turn, I can't watch any television involving sports. It's all Tom Brady shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. This point is so fucking annoying. It's it's pretty annoying. It's getting to annoying points right now. And I'm so trying to have to pay attention. Yeah. What's up, Al? We we're gonna be here for a little while. That's the only thing, you know. What I mean? That's so. the thing. Yo, is there any um sports updates, L? Because I've been literally I've been avoiding all sports because it's all bad for me. Is there anything crazy going on? Um, I mean, the whole world shut down except for Vince McMahon and the WWE. They're like, we're still wrestle. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're using their practice place in Florida to no audience. Yeah. So, uh, WrestleMania is, I believe, next weekend, if I'm correct. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday. And um, one of their – one of well, they, I, I believe they've already taped it. Uh, yeah. One of their main matches was supposed to be Bill Goldberg uh, from, you know, 90s WCW versus Roman Reigns. Uh, but Roman Reigns actually pulled out of the match because Roman has a, a, a compromised uh, immune system. He has leukemia, I believe. And, uh, and yeah. Yeah. And he, um, so, he, you know, obviously with the coronavirus, you know, and, and one of the employees, uh, allegedly the Miz showed up. Uh, I heard he's like, has corona or he's sick. And, you know, and then that just kind of set off like, he was like, no, I don't want to do this because obviously if you have a, a, a compromised immune system, you know, you can get real sick and die. So I didn't know he had a lot of immune. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was out of wrestling for yeah. a pretty long time, for like two years, like a, two years? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure how long it was. He was definitely out. For he was while. definitely out for a little bit and people were like, no, we're going to miss you. We're going to miss booing you. That <laughs> well, was like a big was, thing. It was also interesting because, you know, wrestling, sometimes it's hard to – blur the lines between reality and scripted 
and mm-hmm. a lot of people were like, "Is this is this like a, a script? Is this like fake?" Yeah, it's but just obviously, yeah, but obviously it was real, and um, yeah, it was just it, it sucked, you know. So I mean, I could I understand why a lot of people are are just like, I mean, why would Vince want to put his wrestlers in harm like that? But who money. knows, man? Oh, of course, yeah. money, but it's mm-hmm. just like. It's like, what are you gaining out of this right now? You know? Yeah. It's, money. Yeah, a lot of money. There's probably a lot of money to be made right now. Everybody's probably going to. Um, How much money is there really to be made? I mean. On pay-per-views right now? Well, they have the WWE Network. So remember, like, mm-hmm. they're, they have, they're dealing with subscribers, people who subscribe to the network already. Yeah. But remember, WrestleMania mm-hmm. was supposed to be in Tampa Bay in front of 70,000 people. Right. So. Yeah. That money is lost, which to me, I mean, if you know, I'm I'm surprised why Vince just doesn't, you know, reschedule it to a, a later date. But I mean, obviously, you know, the way things are going, you know, people, we probably won't, you know, big sporting events like this probably won't happen for the rest of the year. You know, people, we got to realize that the next time there will be a crowd of seventy thousand at a, a football game, it, it won't be for a, a while. Damn, we're not going to get basketball again for a while, while, huh? Uh, any final thoughts, guys, for this app? I'm coming for you, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> Great, dude. It's fucking awesome. El, what do you Always. got? Uh, hopefully, you know, we, uh, this week, I mean, it's, you know, less, less people going to hospitals less you know death uh because we're in a, a very interesting time in the world that is bigger than sneakers bigger than fashion uh we got nurses who are overworked they don't have the proper supplies doctors hospitals all those people and um we just you know i just hope everyone you know takes this serious and and we get back to things the way it was because i got mad sneakers nigga. i want them <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this shit is wild <laughs> um, that's, that's my final thought. Chris, um, any final you know, thoughts? Join the Discord. That's the spot right now. We're all hanging out in the Discord. Um, look, guys, we're in a pandemic, so there's no fucking reason why you can't share this stupid podcast with some of your friends. All right? Yeah. You got fucking over 100 episodes to go through. Uh, there's a Patreon where we got some fucking shit hidden in the behind the paywall. It's dope. Mm-hmm. Um, fucking, you follow us on Instagram. Uh, I mean, you guys know. You guys fucking already know. Um, you already know. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that's it. At Not That Cheney, at Trevisus, at LZT325, at Sub Podcast NYC, Sub Podcast NYC at Gmail. Uh, there's a phone number on the Instagram you can text or leave us a voicemail, whatever. I think that's it. Yeah, that's we it. out. We out. We out. Um, yeah. All right, guys. See you later. All right. Peace.